Now, it's a tourist attraction that's hard to miss. A full-sized replica of a Spanish warship has docked in London. The 500-tonne ship sailed through Tower Bridge before arriving in St Catherine's docks. And now it's open to visitors to experience life on a 17th century warship. Anna O'Neill has been on board. We have to climb through that ropes. We have to undo all the knots that are holding the sail. Uh, so we are very active. It was less aye aye captain and more sea capitan at St Catherine's Dock this morning aboard the Spanish Galleon Andalucía. So this is where you steer the ship. I probably shouldn't be touching this, should I? <laughs> it, is, it is a real wheel. <laughs> it is a real wheel which we try to steer the ship. We try because, I, I say try because it is not like a, like a car. You know, we have strong winds, strong currents, waves. So yes, from here you can, you can imagine how difficult it is to steer the sh that amazing ship, that, that huge ship. You literally it, cannot see. You cannot, you cannot from see. From one end to the other properly. Yeah, yeah so it, it, is, um, it is a bit difficult for us. There was an eager crowd keen to come aboard, and some had even bunked off to be here. I should have been at Liverpool for the party conference, but the choice of this one-off opportunity to be at this beautiful ship in my ward, more importantly, welcomed them to our ward, uh, couldn't miss the opportunity. What was people's reaction yesterday when it wow. came down the Thames? It was, it was amazing. We passed through the, uh, the Tower Bridge at 5.30. It was full of people taking pictures. We have a lot of pictures, a lot of reactions. And then through the, through the log, it was amazing. I was yesterday in, in Bermondsey and someone told me uh, that in, in a few minutes <laughs> the ship will arrive in, in London. <laughs> I came aboard El Galleon because I used to live in Havana where all the galleons used to, to muster to sail back to Seville. I am very keen on galleons, I've studied them for a long time. First time here in London and we wanted to, uh, a long time ago, to bring the ship here to London uh, to spread, uh, spread uh, more history about us and about the English, the French, the Spanish, that we, we did um, uh, big things back in the days. Spread a bit of Spanish joy. It is. Anna O'Neill, BBC London. Now, a replica Spanish warship that wouldn't look out of place in the Pirates of the Caribbean has anchored at St Catherine Docks. The Galleon Andalusia has covered over 70,000 nautical miles and comes to London for two weeks as part of a European tour. While it's here, we sent Sally for a look around the ship that's being described as a living museum. It is like a lens into the past, seeing a magnificent galleon gliding up the Thames. Squeezing itself through St Catherine's Lock, this replica Spanish ship has come to the city to share its story. And here we are, and I cannot get the Pirates of the Caribbean out of my head, but thankfully this is no pirate ship and there's no plank because they'd have me off that thing in a heartbeat, wouldn't they? The ship was built to celebrate maritime history and teach new crews to sail them. The first thing I'm going to do is step over the restricted access and introduce you to Andrea, who is the Hello. first officer. Lovely to meet you. Nice so this is your home. You. Yes, this is where I live. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Lucky you. Do you love it? I love it. If you want to buy tickets, you get to step on board and see the captain's quarters. This is yeah. where the entertaining happens. Yes, where they chill out. No, they chill out. Lovely. They wouldn't <laughs> have had gin and tonics in those days, would they? But maybe... No, but maybe wine. Maybe no wine. Or, or rum or only rum. gin. Of yes. course. And the sleeping spaces. In terms of bedrooms, I'm told this is where the most noble guests would have often slept. And it's very comfortable. It's just a slight shame about the toilet. But at least it's plusher than the crew beds. Sailing was brutal in the 16th and 17th centuries, and illnesses like scurvy killed thousands. So they had to hire more crew back in the day yes. than they needed because they lost so many to diseases. Yes, maybe 30% more than wow. them. Gosh, oh, that's yes. so sad, isn't it? The galleon has 30 miles of rope, which means there's a lot of rigging to climb. I think I've proved a point and probably gone high enough, especially in this outfit. Can you imagine, though, doing this out at sea without any harness on? And you go all the way to the top, right, Andrea? Yes, I do. I always go there every day. Oh, that's my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really this know. might be a pirate-free zone, but apparently I was causing a few double takes. Oh dear, must be the boots. Wow. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. It was fine. I'm fine. <laughs> You're alive. 
Climbing the rigging is for crew only, but the ship will be here for two weeks if you want to hop aboard and go back in time. Sally, it's a good job you're not afraid of heights. It's the boots. They're my superpower and they're <laughs> back out, everybody. This is it for the next eight months. You get used to these. Keep and them then, on. Uh, and then we put them away for a few months and they come on again. And you need them at the moment mm. because the weather's been so dodgy.